Huh? You and my superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? Superheroes live to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? They immediately attack people in groups because they don't have many friends themselves, you know? They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, Now I'm mad! And I won't forgive you! And laugh, you know? Uh, I feel like, I feel like you said that a few times. They're lazy people who'll run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know? They're willing to use weapons, even if they're fighting someone who is alone or unarmed, you know? They're always the winner, so they don't know what it's like to have a weakling's worries, you know? And they like to wear flashy costumes, you know? Which means they're all a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn elitists who don't have many friends. Do you really want to admire people like that? Well, I don't, I don't like superheroes anyway, so... <laughs> the you-know thing reminds me of uh, Onion-san from Undertale, because uh, that character also said you-know a lot. <laughs> Good morning! Uh, thanks to Kazuichi, I didn't get much sleep. My head hasn't cleared up that much. Oh well, I might as well head over to the restaurant. Alright, daily routine, can't do without it. Before- Aw, uh, they probably won't let us do it now, but I want to go to the second floor of the hospital. Well, I'm sure we'll get a chance to go there later anyway, but, um... Yeah, okay. Good morning, Mikan! Ah, <laughs> uh, Hajime, good morning! Um, it's almost time to meet with everyone at the restaurant, right? Yeah, I was about to go as well. <laughs> I'm so glad! I went to check on Fuyuhiko, so I thought I was late. Oh, don't worry about it. I see, you're so busy this morning. Not at all. I'm only useful in situations like this anyway. It's kind of morbid when you think about it, right? People only ever need doctors or nurses when there's trouble. How's Fuyuhiko doing? Well, it might be better to ask you at the restaurant when everyone's together. I understand. Then I shall go on ahead. I guess I should go to the restaurant. Yeah. Sounds good. Ooh. Hey, every whoa, everybody, everyone's out here. Yo, Nakamaru. Your voice is too soft. Project your voice more from your stomach. Jeez, does he have to be like this in the morning? Good morning. <laughs> All right, now your voice will reach the sun. Ooh. And to our departed, Mahiru and Peko. You're right. I'm sure they heard it. Mm. I'm just a mere team manager, therefore, I don't know anything about art. However, when I saw Mahiru's photos for the first time, <laughs> my vulgar heart was greatly shaken! Truly, that is a splendid thing. It's a pity what happened to Mahiru, but I will never forget how she taught me the value of art! Yeah, I'll never forget it either. Oh, that's a good thing. When- when your trade touches people that usually wouldn't understand it, then you know, I guess, you're doing something right. Yo, Gundam. <laughs> For you to actually greet me in the morning, I praise your admirable endeavor, slave. <laughs> okay. When did I ever become your slave? <laughs> Speaking of slaves, Peko, too, was a foolish soul. Huh? I accept her desire to merely remain her owner's loyal tool. However, that's a limitation of base creatures. My four dark devas of destruction are not tools, nor are they slaves. They are healthy underlings and also friends whose loyalty is matched by their devotion to military rule. Oh, okay, so like Pokemon, right? At times, we clash over our ideals and our tempers flare. That's when Charmander doesn't listen. But that only bolsters our power and allows us to reach greater heights. <laughs> that is why I will one day exist as the supreme overlord of this world. 
<sighs> Just as I thought. Apparently, it's too difficult for a simple human being to understand. Friends, huh? I think he's saying something very cool, but the fact that his friends are hamsters is a bit problematic. I wonder, like, you know how he just left? What's he actually thinking? Is he thinking, Oh no, I fucked up! I messed up and now he doesn't like me anymore! Or is he really still thinking about whatever he said? <sighs> What's happened? Ah. I wanna listen! Huh? I want to listen to songs by Ibuki's favorite artists! There's no TV or radio here, you know? I'm starving to death from musical deprivation! Um, don't they sell CDs at the supermarket? Eh, maybe they're out of date. Like, you know how the magazines in the first one? They were also out of date. They do, but there's only the classics and the usual mainstream pop. Right at this moment, new albums are plopping out all over the world! I do have the CD, but it's not the kind of music you like, right? Oh, oh this is... this is Summer Vestivitries. Oh, this must be an event from an item I have. <laughs> you must not be scared of anything if you seriously showed this to me, Hajime. Huh, is there something wrong? Uh, can we check out what that disc is about for a second, really quickly? Is there something we should know beforehand? Is it this one? The debut single of the boy band Black Cherry became a huge hit due to its rhythmic beat and catchy lyrics about summer. Okay, so like, One Direction, okay. <laughs> ah. Oh crap! I seriously can't believe you don't know! Man, uh. The song Summer Festivities is by the Black Cherries. Those guys always got hyped up as rivals of my old band. Oh, I'm so sorry. Concert promoters would be like, Battle of the Bands! An epic showdown between the chicks and the dudes! And they always like to compare their ticket sales and concert attendance numbers with ours. Oh, really? Then... Pretty? But it doesn't matter to me anymore since I left the group. Like, music shouldn't be reduced to sales numbers. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't think about it like that, because, um... Yeah, the Japanese music scene today is pretty... Probably people who are really into music in general are not happy with it because if you look in any sort of top 10 chart, they're all by idols. It's all idol singers and, well, you know, as an idol fan, idols are not, or they're by far not the best singers and they don't have the best songs. They don't even write their own songs. So the fact that idols are on the top 10 charts of everything probably upsets some music fans. <laughs> However, thanks to that CD, I've thought of something awesome. Something awesome? Hey, does it involve me playing drums? Hokie dokie, Hajime! I got a question for you. Are you free tonight? Well, that's sudden. And what time is tonight exactly? Hey, I'm the one asking questions here. Hurry up and answer me! T tonight, huh? Yeah, I'm free. You gonna take me out for dinner? Well, I guess I have some free time. Yeah! Nice answer! Just as expected from Hajime! Man, uh. Then, let's see. Two hours before Monokuma makes his announcement. Let's all meet at the supermarket, okay? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it! Okay, you better have something good for me. I only casually promised her, but I guess it's okay. I should try not to forget. Ooh, there's so many things going on this morning. Hey, Akane. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good after that massage, huh? Yo, Hajime! Hey, good morning. Nah, no, nah. No. Oh, you're looking better than usual. Everyone I've met is like that too. Did something happen? Well, for you, Hiko is safe. That's probably why. <laughs> I don't know why, but I also feel like I can eat more delicious food than usual. Speaking of which, why don't I challenge my limits? I'm gonna eat everything in the restaurant. You don't... <laughs> Please save some for me. Even though she's not aware of it, Akana definitely looks happy too. Yeah, she's so upbeat. How are you feeling though? I'm a little bit worried about you. Doesn't it feel like we're forced to meet up at the restaurant every morning? There's something I need to find at the supermarket today. Something to find? Want me to help you? 
It's fine. I'm just gonna go look for a camera and I'll probably find it really fast. Jeez, how annoying. A camera? Wait, um, I think... I think somebody said that that was a event too. I have that camera, don't I? I'm pretty sure I do. Wait. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Can I not give you the camera? No? Huh. Wait. I'm sure I have a camera here somewhere. Okay, wait. I might not have it. I'm actually gonna go spin that Monokuma machine thingy, okay? I'm gonna see if I can find it, because I have 200 coins unused right now. And uh, I will see you- I will reload to a previous save and talk to Hyoko again and see if it changes, okay? Give me a sec. Okay, let's try this again. I got the camera from the vending machine. Yup. You need to find the camera. Want me to help you? Hmm. I have a camera. Well, it's actually a toy camera. Huh, really? Hmm, if that's the case, I'd probably need a real photographer anyway. What are you planning? Hey, Jime, I have a favor to ask you. I guess I'll listen to what you have to say. Come to the music venue right after breakfast. Bring a camera, too. You've got some free time, right? So it's okay, right? Hey, she, she kind of warmed up to us a little bit. What should I do? Of course I'm free. Free for all the ladies. I don't dislike anyone who knows their place. Then it's a promise. You definitely have to come. Somehow I ended up making a promise, but is this really okay? I hope she doesn't make me do anything weird. Well, okay. I'm glad we got both of the things, whatever it's gonna be. So, I guess we're just gonna go straight to breakfast. Hello, Chiaki. <laughs> hey, Kazuchi. Oh? Morning. Whoa, she she said it first. What happened? You don't sound that excited. Kazuichi is playing the arcade machine over there. Oh come on, there's more than one, right? You can just play it together. Mm. Mm. I played one match with him earlier. He told me to give him my all, so I did, and I got yelled at for winning a flawless victory. He said I was childish for playing seriously against an amateur. Kazuichi, I wonder which one's more childish. Let me tell you, it's not Chiaki. Yo, Yo Hajime, how are you? Are you playing a game? It's rare to see you playing games. Don't take it apart. Uh. Yeah, well, Chiaki's always into playing it, right? So I couldn't help but notice. So she's letting me play for a little while. No, no. It's not like this is my machine. There's no reason for me to give you permission. You say that, but but you're on it every morning. <laughs> you're like the queen of the arcade machine. Really? You're not aware of that at all? Uh... Well, after getting beaten up in the previous match, I'll definitely return the favor. Uh -huh. You don't have to return the favor. Huh? What did you say? Are you saying I just have to stay a loser? <laughs> then let me tell you this. You'll definitely catch this topic's bait. What? What does that mean? You want to listen, right? 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 You just really want to say it. Oh, okay, you want to tell me something. Mm. Then what is it? That's it? <laughs> listen and be amazed. There is a street on the third island with lots of busted machines, right? Yeah, we were all three of us were there. I found some portable game console thing in the junk over there. <gasps> really? Is it true? <laughs> See, what I tell you, you totally took the bait. But still, it looks like this is out of order. Fix it! Oh, how useless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Who do you think I am? I'll definitely fix it up till it's like brand new. <laughs> then when it's all fixed, I'll give it to ya. Mm, then I'll wait, but I won't look forward to it. Probably. Oi, 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 Probably? Oi, oi, oi. Look forward to it. Otherwise, I'll be sad, you know? Aw, Kazuchi's pretty nice. Like, cause, um, even though usually he's kind of perverted and, you know, is in into taking off the clothing of the girls he likes and whatever, but he's still helping Chiaki, not because he's into her, he's into Sonya, right? But just because they're friends, right? And that's what friends do, so that's cool. Like, he's not using it as a pickup tactic. 
So that's nice. Just watch! I'll completely fix it up, and I'll make you say thank you with tears running down your face. I isn't his intent kind of off? Well, you know what they say, it's not the intent that matters, it's the end result. <laughs> Channeling my inner Machiavelli there. The faces of everyone who gathered at the restaurant all look somewhat lighthearted. Everyone must be really happy that Fuyuhiko's safe. Deva. Um, the day ended halfway yesterday, so let us try to put together our information about the new island. In the end, we couldn't even find a way to escape from this island, right? Seriously, you guys are useless. Hi. But there's a music venue! So good. I got that, but what about the clues that we really need? Clues like information about this island, or anything that might help us understand what's happening to us. <laughs> In the town with all those machines, I found a clue contained within a file inside one of the laptops. You saw that too? Ano? I was told about that by Nagito, so I checked it as well. I like how we just kind of integrated Nagito into our group now and no one's like saying anything about it. I saw it too. It's about the fact that Hope's Peak Academy has already been destroyed. <gasps> Hope's Peak Academy has been destroyed? <laughs> it's probably just another one of Monokuma's pranks. There's no way Hope's Peak Academy would fall. Huh. Is he lying or does he really not know? Because if he really doesn't know, then when he finds out, how is he going to react? But, even if it is a prank, it's not something he should be allowed to do. A symbol of hope getting destroyed. It's not something you should even joke about. Okay, I am so looking forward to his reaction later. <laughs> well, if you're still wondering about it, it might be better if you just confirm it for yourself. <laughs> if I remember to do it, I'll give it a try. <laughs> so basically, on that island we found no way to escape, nor any useful clues this time around. <laughs> oh, hold on. It's this time again, not this time around. <laughs> what? You don't have to correct us each time! <laughs> However, it is not all bad news. Fuyuhiko will be able to return to us. <laughs> that guy pisses me off, but it sure makes me happy to think he's gonna come back to us. <laughs> he's recovering extremely well, so I'm pretty sure he can be discharged from the hospital in one week! However, he's probably lost the use of his right eye forever. Oh, wow. Wow, I didn't... I didn't notice of that cutscene earlier. Did it show his other eye? Oh, well, I mean, an eye for a life. I mean, I'd rather take the life. He totally deserves that. Huh, I wonder if that's, like, symbolic. Because you know how Peko is, like, his... Uh, well, quote quote tool, right? Like his uh, right hand woman. So, him losing an eye, it's like losing a big part of you, right? Ah. Uh. Hey, aren't you going a little too far? <laughs> Man, I sure did eat. I'm stuffed today, too. <laughs> you certainly eat a lot without even listening to what the others are saying. <laughs> okay, then, since I'm stuffed, I should go train now. <laughs> train, you say? You hate training, how rare of you. Oh. If I don't do it, I won't get stronger. I have to do it. See, I'm wondering where this this uh, subplot is going. In chapter 2, when we found out that Akane and Nekumaru were training, see, if it was Danganronpa 1, that would pretty much indicate that Akane training would have something to do with the murder. But if it didn't amount to anything in that chapter, can I just assume it's characterization? Or can I assume that this training will pay off in some form from this point forward? Bye now. Oh yeah, oh yeah? She's like really pumped up. Mm. <laughs> I hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad. Well, you keep her in check. With that, our morning meeting ended and we all went back to our cottages. I'm supposed to meet Hyoko now. What does she want me to do with a camera at the music venue? Hmm. Music venue? 
You wanna sing for me? Oh, you wanna dance! You wanna dance, right? Hey, Hyoko, I'm here. You're late, Hajime! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah? My, my, if it isn't Hajime, what's up? Huh? Ibuki and Chiaki, too. Why are you guys... Huh? Huh? Could it be? Does the cameraman mean you, Hajime? Cameraman? Wait, hold on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Man, you sure are dense. You won't get it unless I explain it to you. Tense or not, it's impossible to find out without a hint or two. Okay, well... Hyoko is gonna dance. Ibuki is gonna, I don't know, play the guitar or something. What about Chiaki? Is she gonna... game? <laughs> Apparently, we're gonna hold a memorial for Mahiru right now. Oh, at the music venue? Mahiru? <laughs> Mahiru told me she wanted to take pictures of me jamming on an instrument. And she also said she wanted to take pictures of Hyoko dancing. <laughs> so we decided to do it all together here. I shall call this the Memorial Jam Session. Oh, I see. So I have to take pictures of that. I guess that's a great idea. I'm sure Mahito's gonna be happy. Okay, so so why is Chiaki here? If you think so, you're gonna accept the cameraman position, right? But that's a huge responsibility. Huh? Are you saying you don't want to do it because of that? No, I will, but there's no way my pictures will be as good as Mahito's. But uh, I'll take as many as I can. I'll be counting on you. I'll do my very best to play an instrument, too. Oh, do you play? Huh, you too? At first, I heard about the idea from Ibuki, and I was just planning to watch. But look, I found this in the storage room. Is that a triangle? <laughs> Even I can play something like this, so is it okay if I participate? Instead of watching, I can join you guys. I want to mourn for Mahiru. Hey, I want to join you guys too. Can I play the drums? No problemo! You don't need skill on the stage, just heart! Yeah, please let me play too. We can like, put the camera on a timer. I'm pretty sure this one has a timer. <laughs> well, I guess it's okay. Mahito's probably gonna be happy about that. But if you suck, I'm gonna make you stop, okay? And so we finished our preparations and the memorial service for Mahiru began. Aww. Whoa! Am I at a rock concert? Wait, how is she dancing to the beat of that? Chiaki's hitting the triangle with intensity. The combination is crazy and everyone's doing different things, but strangely, it's harmonizing really well. Even though our paces are all different, will we be able to be like this in the future? Mahiru, can you hear this performance? Are you seeing Hyoko's dance? Not just Mahiru, Peko, Teru Teru, Byakuya. Are you all watching? I kind of wish we invited Mikan too, because uh, Mikan was in their group of friends from the game too. We will never forget about you, ever. And we will not waste your deaths. We will survive and get off this island. I finished my job without any problems and decided to go back to my cottage for the time being. Now then, what should I do today? I think you should go to the hospital. Really. So who haven't we talked to still? Let's see. Gundam. Fuyuhiko. Sonia. Hiyoko. Mikan. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five people, right? If we have five free time thingies, then we should be good. We don't have to worry about, you know, not talking to specific people, uh, you know, before they die and all. 
But, um, hmm. No one's in the rooms. I was hoping I can, like, go see their rooms, but yeah, no one's here. Chiaki, Nekomaru. Is anyone in the old building anymore these days? Not really. Well, first things first. Well, okay, you know what? Since we're going to the hospital anyway, why not talk to Fuyuhiko? Hang on. We can do this. Wait, how many steps do we need? Oh, quite a bit more. Oh my god, I forgot about your poop. Fly! Fly, little... little rabbits. Fly for like less than a meter. Okay. Let's see, how do we do this? Ranch, Central Island. Take him a chance to walk a little bit. Second, park. Third. Actually, that walking did nothing because I fast forwarded it, so <laughs> that didn't really even do anything. We're still missing one Monokuma. The trend seems to be three before the murder and two after the murder, so. We better find it soon. Hey, Mikan! What's up? I'm so glad we found a hospital. The drugstore has plenty of medicine, so now we can treat most injuries and illnesses. Well, that's a great thing. But, I mean... If someone is gonna kill somebody... <laughs> they're not gonna, like, do it half-assed, you know? So... <laughs> Not sure if being able to heal wounds is really a big thing. Ooh. Oh, wow, what the heck? Uh. Oh. Is that a texture glitch? What is that? It's like, it's not supposed to shake, is it? I can't tell. Uh, looks biohazardous, potentially. It's like a CT scan donut or something. Conference room. Staff room. This isn't a room for patients. It looks more like an on-call room for the hospital staff. But all this cluttered medical equipment makes it look like a storage room. If this is the only on-call room, working at a hospital must be tough work. So, if a room like this exists, that must mean there used to be people here, right? Seriously, what the heck is going on with this island? Well, it could just be modeled off something, right? So... There's a bed. It resembles the ones in the patient rooms, but these are probably for breaks. It's kind of unsanitary. Can we have a couch instead in the on-call room? Like... Multiple people sleeping in the same bed. Medical equipment and nursing tools. There's a lot of other medical stuff here too. This room looks like it's used to store equipment. Yeah, not much else here, I guess. Yeah, pretty much it. Wait. There's gotta be a Monokuma near here. Maybe in the other room. There's gotta be one in the hospital. I don't believe it. I'm not leaving without that Monokuma. Come on! Got you! Hmm, this room is... There's a lot of chairs and desks here. I guess it's sort of like a conference room. The windows are really nice. The pattern on his dress is the same as his uh, eye on the black side. Black curtain. It's a big curtain, and it's black. A big black curtain inside a hospital. It doesn't really seem like it belongs. Oh, that might be important later then, hmm. Is that because this is a conference room? What? Why does a conference room have to have black curtains? It's a really big window. The room looks more spacious thanks to that. It has a really nice view too. Projector. It's a projector. Well, it's not strange for it to be in a conference room after all. Yeah. 
It's a folding desk. They probably arranged these inside the conference room during meetings. Hmm... It does seem to point to the fact that somebody was using this before, because... Yeah... yeah it's also... It's like kind of, um... There's a human feel to it because it's so disorganized. But at the same time, I don't know, man. It's not like we really saw any traces of anybody being here. Oh, I wish we could look out these windows. So, okay, so on the second floor, we got the on-call room, conference room with the tacky neon signs, and like this biohazard CT scan room with the glitchy donut. And that's pretty much it. Oh my god. Can we start from the beginning? Emergency, emergency, someone's injured. Let's bring them in and operate on them. <sighs> That's what happens if you let it happen. Oh my god. All right. Oh. Oh. It's like his permanent room now. Might as well. I've been looking for you for two chapters, and now you've lost an eye before I could even talk to you. He's just silently staring out the window. Wait, I forgot what you like. What do you like? Well, it probably doesn't matter because I haven't talked to him before, but uh, what do you like anyway? Fried dough cookies. Oh, okay. What? Cookies and milk go together so well, though, don't, don't they? The Oreo commercials and all. He's just silently staring out the window. It's best if I don't make the injured talk needlessly. I should just leave him alone right now. Okay. I finally find you for once, and I still can't talk to you. Not a good sign, but, uh, you know, I guess... He needs a lot of time to think about it after what happened with Peko and all. Sure, let's go talk to Mikan then. Mikan, Mikan, I feel so bad for you that Hyoko bullies you all the time, and the fact that I find it funny, I feel bad about that too, but it's only funny because it's like in an anime thing, okay? It's not funny if it's in real life, just to clarify that. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I have like syringes lying around. Are you not feeling well? Then I'll take a look! <laughs> Are you implying that the only reason why people would hang out with you is because they're not feeling well? <laughs> Don't hold back! Please show me your body! <sniffs> oh, show you my- I spent time today showing Mika my body. <laughs> it looks like Mika and I grew a little closer. Okay. Also, at the moment, I have zero clue who's gonna be involved in the murder or not, so I'm this is pretty much random from this point forward, the free time events. So I'm pretty sure we got some... Yeah, I remember seeing a bunch of things that I was like, Oh yeah, that's definitely for Mikan. So we just gotta find them, pretty much. What the hell's a kiss note? The human whose name is written in this notebook shall kiss you? <laughs> what? Whoa! The human who uses this notebook will lose their heart forever. It's like an intense version of the death note. Ooh. <laughs> Male cylinder. <laughs> Sorry. A laboratory instrument with a masculine symbol on it. Organic synthesis is possible by combining this with measuring flask. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Come on. Wasn't there like a syringe or something? What the hell is this? American clacker? There's so many things to look at here. Gag ball. Um. Desperation. Oh, come on. Did I miss it already? Where's the... I'm pretty sure there's a goddamn, like... Syringe or, like, a bottle of pills or something. There's gotta be something here. Oh! Bandage wrap. We have nine of them. A cloth bandage wrap used to treat wounds. In some cases, you can also use this to demonstrate your morbidity or cruelty. Hey, maybe Mika, look at how many- you can see her in the background there. Look at her hands and she has like bandages on her legs too. So maybe you need- maybe you need new bandages. 
I'm pretty surprised that you have something like this. <laughs> but for some reason, I feel a little closer to you. <laughs> Despite the fact that we decided to hang out, Mika is acting suspicious and hasn't tried to look at me at all. Somehow, I feel like I did something bad to her, even though I know I didn't do anything. Um... Hmm? I'm sorry! What's this all of a sudden? I thought you clearly looked like you were in a bad mood. Oh no, Mikan, that's just Hajime and his resting bitch face, that's all. Did I do something wrong again? What do I do? Well, would it make you happier if I took my clothes off? Whoa, girl! I am worried about your past. What, what even? Oh, hold on, why are you reacting like that? You're right. You don't want to see me naked, right? Then how about my money? Seriously, hold on. I'm sorry. Whoa, like... I feel like she she must have been bullied pretty bad. Okay, we know that Hyoko bullies her, but I don't think Hyoko makes her take off her clothes or takes her lunch money, so... Uh... Are you okay? It's no use. I feel like if I start panicking, the situation is going to get even worse. Alright, I should just calm down first. Hey, Mikan, I just want to talk to you normally. <laughs> talk? Um... Um... Today is such a beautiful day! Yeah... I'm sorry, I, should I take off my clothes? Oh my god! Seriously, you don't have to do anything like that. This is troubling. I guess I should start talking to Mikan about something she might get excited about. Well, I mean, the clear choice is the thing related to what she likes, right? Like, the medical stuff, but I'm sh I'm scared this might, like, bring back bad memories or something. Um, Mikan, what kind of bandage do you like the most? Bandage? <laughs> Let's see, there's a lot of different types these days. It's extremely convenient because there are waterproof types and sticky types. But I definitely like the non-elastic types the best. They're not too constricting, but they still firmly secure wounds. I'm glad. Looks like she's getting into the conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry, I went ahead and started talking on my own. Don't worry about it. I'm the one who asked anyway. Okay, you know what? Hyoko can't be the only person who contributed to her being like this, right? Because if she is, I might have to like, smack Hyoko a bit. <laughs> also, I feel like I got to know you a little more. Really? Um, let's call it a day for now. Um... If it's not too much trouble for you, I would like to talk to you again. It's been a while since anyone talked to me like this, so... Of course, anytime. Okay, that's the second person who actually gave me a reason to talk to them again. The first one was Chiaki, because I don't know what game she's bad at. Thank you very much, but Chiaki just seems like a, hey, let's go find out her interest, but Mikan, like, I worry about Mikan. <laughs> okay. We decided to go our separate ways for now. But for some reason, I feel like Mikan was staring at my back a little too long. She's not a bad person, but I don't really know how to communicate with her that well. It's okay, it's okay. Huh. If we have time, I would really like to get to know her more. I do. For now, I decided to return to my room. But of course, my priority is to at least talk to each person once, right? So... After that, then we can think about the seconds. Hopefully... Oh! Hey, how come that Monokuma... It's the last one? Are we missing two? Wait, what? Whatever, it's probably just a bug. It's still bright outside. Free room! Or free time! Okay. Is it worth the effort to try to talk to Fuyuhiko again? It might be, because uh... I remember in the first one, I couldn't talk to Sakura one turn, but then the next turn, she let me talk to her, so... Maybe he's in a good enough mood now. Oh, Mikan. 
Oh, Hyoko. Okay, you know what? I want to go check out the rooms. I'm sorry, guys. I just... I'm just gonna, like, knock on your door and not hang out with you. If, if that's okay with you. <laughs> Boys. Mikan. Yes! Oh, wow! Wow! What does she do in here by herself, though? No one can even, like, do anything with her here. That is sweet! Oh... Hey, Mikan. <laughs> Hajime, what are you doing? Oh, I would love to hang out with you, but uh, other people first, okay? I will come back for you. You're such a sweet cinnamon roll. Watch her turn out to be like the most evil bitch or something. Oh god, that would really break my- that would really give me trust issues. <laughs> Remember, her name, Sin. Crimes, Sin. Not to be trusted. Where- where the heck is Hyoko? There she is. Who is it? Okay, our room is seriously crap compared to everybody's. Why? Because, yeah, because it would be too indicative of our talents, I guess. Hmm. Hey, Hyoko. Your face used to make me want to puke, but I think I'm starting to get used to looking at it. But don't get too close to me ever again, okay? I don't want to lose my ability to judge people. <laughs> you are such a little... You are a work of art. And, you know, works of art should be left alone and not tarnished. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go check out Fuyuhiko first. And then we can go decide on who to talk to. Are people going to check on Fuyuhiko regularly? I wonder. Oh, Sonia. Sonia loves reading, huh? Okay. Nagito is around. <laughs> Are you free to talk, buddy? Okay, sure. Well, who do we got left then? Let's see here. Gundam, Sonia, Hyoko, Fuyuhiko. Well, let's uh, let's try to even the gender distribution a little bit, I guess. Let's go find Gundam. Where's Gundam? Gundam, Gundam. Gundam is alone at the ranch. Talking to the cow, maybe. Hey, maybe he's like making his hamsters hang out with a cow. Hey, Gundam. Oh, what do you like again? What do you like? No. Keep doing that wrong. Oh, hamsters. Okay. I don't know if I have anything hamster related, but um, I'll. I'll try to find something flashy for you. Hmm. It might be better if we ended this already. What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like Gundam? Well, it's not that bad, right? <laughs> oh, I hear a voice yearning for salvation. <laughs> then let us press on. It seems I might still be entertained. Is this guy ever gonna like... You know, some people, they talk weirdly. Or differently, because it's a mask, right? But for Gundam, I'm not really sure. Like, if we get to know him more, does it mean that we'll ever be able to talk to him normally? <laughs> I was forced to listen to Gundam's endless delusions. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna handpick a present for you, because I don't have my list open right now, and I'm too lazy to get it open, so... Let's see here... There's gotta be something, like, fancy and flashy for you, right? Ooh, earring of crushed evil! Ugh! An earring created by the legendary home tutor. 
crafted from silver and gold into the shape of a wing. The gold is set to increase luck, while the silver is set to accumulate luck. Sure. You better like it. <laughs> Great work, my servant! It is said, five valuable assets exist in the world. You have my gratitude for discovering one of them. <laughs> Thank you! Well there. It's better if you don't get any closer than that. An automatic barrier is generated independently of my will. It's not like I'm getting close or even planning to get close. Pool. Which reminds me, there's something I haven't asked you yet. It doesn't matter that your temporary name is Hajime Hinata. Tell me your true name, fiend. How about, wh what is your true name? What the heck is this true name thing? <laughs> <laughs> so you're not foolish enough to tell me so easily. Yokaro. Then tell me your hidden name. D I don't have anything like that. Nandato. Then what is your special ability? There is no way I have one of those. I don't even know my own ultimate. Kanashina. Hmm. So you really are just a mere human. I suppose it can't be helped. Then let me talk to you about something that even a mere human can understand. Doshita. Ask me Sumito. anything. AMA. Oh, so I have to ask. Kisomo. However, it's free for you to ask, but make sure you try not to understand. After knowing my true terror, it'll be quite a sight to see how long your sanity will last. Does he want to talk or not? Which is it? Talking to him is starting to get annoying, but he's totally ready and waiting for me. I guess I have to ask something. You know, this is a two-way street, so Gundam. You know, like, throw me a little bit of a bone here, okay? Just don't, don't be acting like this the whole time. We gotta get to know you a little more. Um, what do you usually do in your free time? Feed hamsters? <laughs> so you're interested in my lifestyle? Fine then, I shall reveal a portion of that to you. Yokaro. Training, human hunting, craft spell components, etc. Despite my looks, I'm quite the busybody. However, managing my web website takes up the bulk of my time. Huh? <laughs> Obviously, sorcerers around the world are waiting to see my research results. Of course, my website has been magically enchanted so only the chosen ones can view it. <laughs> A mere human like you will only be able to access a dummy site called Exciting Breeding Journal. Ah, okay. I'd rather check out the Ultimate Breeder's Exciting Breeding Journal anyway. Yokaro. Then, I will make sure to show it to you. Well, if we ever get out of here, that is. Well, are there any other questions? Hey, that was probably the most normal interaction we ever had. What's your favorite food? Yokaro. Hmm, you've certainly hit the mark well. I'm fond of the orange melon which bears the face of the devil. What? The annoying orange? <laughs> um, are you talking about a pumpkin? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, they don't know about annoying orange in Japan. <laughs> there is no other food high in nutrients nor as versatile to a variety of cooking methods. <laughs> More importantly, its seeds are the most effective food source for my four dark devas of destruction. Oh, he's not wrong, pumpkins are really nutritious. However, you must carefully wash them, dry them in the sunlight, peel off the thin skin and light fry, lightly fry them. I see, that sounds pretty difficult. Is there anything in this world that isn't difficult? Pleasure and pain are irrelevant as long as you have a purpose and take action for that sake. You're right, that's exactly right. Gundam is hard to please sometimes, but I do understand the intent behind his words. Somehow, even though it's only a little, I feel like I'm starting to get to know Gundam better. Yeah! He can be normal if he wants to be. After participating in Gundam's AMA, he finally let me go. Okay, now time to hang with Ibuki, right? It's almost time to meet Ibuki. We had to meet at the supermarket. I should head over. Good morning! Good evening, meow! Fresh here, Hajime! 
Hey, Ibuki. Uh, what's with those piles of cardboard boxes? <laughs> Summer's all about fireworks! <gasps> Are we gonna go on a romantic, uh, night by the riverside and play with fireworks and look at the night sky? Fireworks? Pretty? Dirty fireworks disappear into the sky! It's a lyric from Christmas festivities! Now, Hajime, let's carry those cardboard boxes to the beach and I'll leave the setting up to you. Huh? All of this? Just the two of us? No, not just the two of you, just you. Oh yeah, oh yeah? My, my, you're pretty gutsy, Hajime. Are you saying you want to be alone with me on the beach at night? I would not say no to that. No, I didn't mean that. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I also invited the others, like Chiaki and Akane. <sighs> Everyone else brought all the fireworks here. We can just leave the rest to Hajime so Ibuki and the others can change into their yukatas. Okay, suddenly everything is worth it. Huh, yukatas? <laughs> yes, or as Sonia would say, Japanese yukatas. If you work hard here, you can see Sonia, Mikan, and Nekumaru all wearing yukatas. I see, yukatas, huh? I want to wear one. Hehehe, <laughs> 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 looks like some give and take has been established. Ah, <sighs> Ibuki has me wrapped around her finger. Wait, hold on. Nekomaru's coming too? If you invited him, then why isn't he here right now? Ready? Nekomaru helped us out during the day. Now it's your turn, so I'll leave everything to you. Bullshit. We were doing the memorial thing during the day. Screw you guys. Uh, hey, Ibuki. She didn't even hear me. No, she heard you. She just didn't want to reply. I let out a sigh, picked up the cardboard boxes, and started walking toward the beach. It's not like I was lured by the yukatas. <laughs> Why are you nervous, man? It's gonna be fine. There's no way the sparks will fall all the way here. Come on, go down! I'm waiting for the freaking cutscene to go down! I'm gonna be so freaking... Oh my god, just go down, please. Oh, thank you. Hey, should we feel pretty lucky that we're the only guys invited here? Me and Nekomaru? <laughs> hey, why is Nekomaru shouting like that? Don't you know? That's what you do when the firework goes up. Hmm? I see. That's pretty interesting. You go, girl! <laughs> huh? Was that okay as is? Hajime! -chan! Hajime! Get him up there more! I know, I know. Mm. Hajime, once you finish launching that one, I'll trade with you. Enjoy the fireworks too. I wonder where you got the. After having such a fun time, I returned to my cottage with a feeling of satisfaction. Aww. Hey, we really spent some quality time together. In this one day, we spent more quality time together than like the two chapters previously combined. <laughs> It's not like I have anything I need to do, so I should just get some sleep for now. It should be okay to have a peaceful day like this for a change. <laughs> 